Please join me in congratulating our 2021 Freedom and Opportunity Award winner, Linda Bean. Wow. <laughs> this is very thrilling to see all of you here. Uh, Matt and all of you at the Institute, thank you especially for holding the luncheon and honoring the two of our governors, uh, Scott Walker and our own Governor LePage. Um, I'm just thrilled to be part of the program today. And <laughs> when I got the call from Jeff King about this, I couldn't quite put it together in my mind. Why me? <laughs> um, I'm pretty controversial, and <laughs> <laughs> when my name appears in the paper, it's usually in the middle of a storm of controversy, so I wasn't, I, I had to think about it a little bit, and um, Tim, put, Tim Sample, said there's an explanation for everything, but the trouble is most people don't know what it is. <laughs> so I began to wonder and um, think about it. Um, like many of you here today, um, I come, I'm the seed of a long line of predecessors. And they have you know, I've been researching, it, especially during COVID. I had a lot of time to look up my ancestry, add to stuff that I'd started 50 years ago. And I was very impressed with the frontier men and women who preceded me here in northern New England. Actually, of all of the relatives that I came up with, which is uh, 2,800 predecessors in New England, they were all from Maine, New Hampshire and Massachusetts. They dug a real hard existence out of this soil here, in the timber industry, uh, in the in the farmland, and also um, as fishermen, mariners. It's been the saga of the little guy, the little man, and I think this is why. I've always supported the little guy. I look around and that's where my heart is. My forebears included John Howland, Richard Warren, Stephen Hopkins, and 16 others who came over on the Mayflower. Astonishing to find that out. Three women ancestresses suffered accusations and attacks in Salem Two were hung, another got off. But these, these are my pioneer ancestors. They're the ones that deserve this award. George and Johanna Cleave, the original settlers of Portland, are my ancestors. I'm so thrilled, and my cousin, Sean Gorman, is here today and claims this same ancestry. On my mother's side, William Royal. William Royal, the first settler of Freeport and Yarmouth, is my ancestor. And of course, our grandfather, L.L. L. Bean, who came from Western Maine, orphaned in Greenwood, Bethel area. But grabbing a hold in Freeport that put a little shoe town on the map of the world. My cousins, Jimmy Mann, who's here today, uh, the Gormans, and my school or schoolmates here from Waynefleet, these have all had an impact on my life. My life at Antioch College, where I learned work and study together, uh, not just academic work, but getting out there and having the privilege of internships, which I encourage all of you in business to give to young students. It's a, it's a very special opportunity for all of you, both sides. So those have had an impact on me and <clears throat> all, the, <clears throat> all the little unnamed guys and girls 
uh, who, with whom I've traveled, uh, who've met me on the campaign trail. Um, they are the ones that deserve this award today. I'm, I'm just a final seed of it. I'm very privileged to receive the award, and I can't tell you uh, how important it is to me. I also have here at the head table J Jimmy Birch, who started Maine Discover Magazine 30 years ago. It's his anniversary, another important part of our life. So for this special recognition, and knowing that without our trust in God, none of us is free, no one of us is free, I thank you. Thank you so much.